in every age, God has raised up men and women to meet the needs of the day. Now is that time. You are the one. Now is the time for saints. Blessed Margaret of Castello has much to teach us during these times, not only because she was confined to a tiny space as a child. Many of you may not know her story. Margaret's parents were wealthy nobles in 14th century Italy, and they were ashamed at their daughter's multiple disabilities. Margaret was born blind, crippled, hunchbacked, and of small stature. And so her parents sought to hide her away by building a special cell attached to a church on their property. And there they confined their six-year-old daughter with only a tiny window from which she could receive meals, limited contact with the outside, and from which she could watch the mass from afar. Now, most children in such a situation would have withdrawn, treated so cruelly and rejected by those who should have loved her most. They would have withdrawn into bitterness and resentment, but not Margaret. Margaret immediately forgave her parents and never let anyone speak badly against them. Even when as a teenager, they abandoned her in a strange city, blind and helpless. Now what gave Margaret this incredible capacity for forgiveness? Well, I think Margaret's blindness was compensated by a spiritual vision, the capacity to see her father's hand, her heavenly father, in all things that happened. And so Margaret saw it as a privilege that she was confined to a small space where she could pray in solitude, living the life of a medieval hermit, even as a child. And being abandoned in a strange city was to Margaret an opportunity to rely solely on God's providence. You know, one night, Margaret found herself sleeping in a stable because she had nowhere else to go. But she was delighted because she saw it as a privilege to be able to share the sleeping quarters of the baby Jesus. You know, forgiveness is never easy, especially when we have been deeply hurt. But what can help is having the spiritual vision to see God's hand bringing good out of the evil that has been done to us. So let's ask Blessed Margaret to intercede for us, for all of us struggling to forgive and those struggling to receive forgiveness, especially for those parents who so deeply regret the rejection of their children by abortion. And let's ask her to intercede for all of us, confined to small spaces, that we would have the spiritual vision to see God bringing good out of evil. 